I managed to pull over 700 viewers live on Twitch just by milking the hottest topic in the COD community, reverse boosting or two boxing. Basically, it's the easiest way to get bot lobbies. So how did I do that? It's very simple, but for rookies, I'm going to break it down for you step by step. But later in this video, I'll explain to you what two box means in depth on how you can do it. So onto the story. My team, Sword Gaming, we were able to host a recruitment challenge for all games, including Call of Duty. So everyone is trying to join my team. So the, all the eyes are on me. And if you're from the 2012 COD era, you know the terms trick shotting, knifing, feeding. So I meant sniping. Feeding is such a cringe word. Anyways, I have both communities on strings, trick shotting and sniping. With Call of Duty having skill based matchmaking and the ability to get easy lobbies, aka two boxing, it's something everyone is going to worry about when showing off their skills. With that being the biggest worry, I immediately knew that this was going to be the easiest way to start a fire. I made tweets already about skill based matchmaking and it was only going to get better from there. It all started with just one tweet that I randomly thought out of the blue that could bang. Everyone is complaining about people having two box lobbies and others are just trying to enjoy the game without others shitting on them. However, to join Soar, we need the absolute best of the best players we can find to create content. So what's the middle ground? How can people have hope of joining Soar and not getting scammed out of their own talents? So I thought, let me speak upon it in a post. But then I realized, it's not going to get as far as I would like. Instead of making a simple post, let's take it to a whole different level and just troll. Let's act like I'm going to expose all the two boxers and shed some light in the community. I then cooked up a post. My six methods to finding out if someone is two boxing that is going for the soul recruitment challenge. So my first method, more than half of the responses had enemies barely moving. Few enemies having the same clips as other two boxers. Third, name searched you. I don't even think that's even possible at the moment, but it might be. Fourth, literally clicked on their profile and was able to go back in their old videos. Fifth one is absolutely absurd, hired two box detective. And then the last one saying that someone in private match. But then the last part is where it really got people. If you know me well enough, you know if I'm being overly sarcastic, I use the words low tier players and coward if I'm joking around. But to others, it looked very serious. And that is where I got them. 1,000 likes and 350,000 impressions. With this tweet blowing up already, I saw within six hours, people wanted to see the list. That led me to my next plan, the milking stage. With my teammate, aka my great friend in this community, Sore Pride, assisted me through all of this. He encouraged me to go live at that very moment because of how fast it was blowing up, but I was with family at the time, so no access to my computer, but the ideas were rolling in. We both knew I was able to drag it on. Instead of going live right away as soon as I got home, I decided I'm gonna make a few more posts to drag it on even further and see if the hype is still there. And of course, the hype was still there. So I decided, okay, I should dedicate a stream on a certain day and time to expose this imaginary list that I came up with. Before I did that, I wanted to make a video absolutely trolling everyone on stream with the risk of pissing people off and potentially losing some respect. I knew there had to be a message towards the end to ease things up. Within one day of editing and playing it live on stream, this was the full outcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 83 people that were going for the SORC were either two boxing or you could say reverse boosting. All right, I'm gonna expose the list one by one and show you every single person that was found two boxing. For those who don't know what two boxing is, it's a different way to reverse boost. You're using another console that has a low level account to party up with to make your lobbies easier consistently, allowing you to hit clips in a non-fashion way. So obviously to everyone, this is cheating. All right, so now before I begin, I have to clear up some allegations because, dude, some people had the audacity to accuse me of two boxing. Keep in mind, I've never two boxed in my life. Uh, we're gonna look at these sweets. Like this guy right here went to my recent videos. All right, like, bro, this video, all the highlights were live stream. And yeah, in that case, I would have been caught. So this guy's a fucking idiot. All right, and this other guy went to my VOD. 100% props for that one. But this guy is clearly uneducated about the game. So if you play Modern Warfare 3 right now, you would know that the level cap out is uh, roughly around 55 on the leaderboard. And the real level show in pregame lobby. Now, however, there is a few people that are under level 55. Was I playing with my viewers? Absolutely. 
Do they have a lower skill-based matchmaking than me? Absolutely. Did I have fun in those games? Absolutely. Does that count as two boxing or reverse boosting? Probably. But would you be suggesting that I play by myself and deal with my own lobbies? Are you saying that I shouldn't be playing with my friends then, even if they have better lobbies and there's nothing I could do to control that? So what you're saying is play by myself or play with people that are just as good as me. So in other words, you want me to be depressed making content. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right, last thing I want to cover up before we do jump into the 83 people. So, Sword just got accused on one of the replies, quite a bit actually. So, I just want to make things clear. None of us has ever two box, and I honestly think you're absolutely crazy and oblivious. Like, you don't even watch our streams. Like, majority of our clips are live. So, anyways, are we ready to see the 83 people that are about to be exposed right now? Let me know in the in the chat. Let me know. Yes? Okay. Now we're gonna be moving on to the 83 people that got exposed. This is the first guy I spotted two boxing. The way I was able to find out that this guy was two boxing was by You just got trolled. This is you right now. It's a man who can slap but can also stroke. Going in the wind as an empty of the tree that is naked. That list was never real to begin with. Now I got you in your seat wondering, what was the point of all this? Like, I know there's going to be so many questions. Am I seriously going to be letting two boxes in SOAR? Are they even blacklisted? What about the people in SOAR? Aren't they two boxing? Are we going to kick them out? What's going on with them? Is playing with a friend with low KD considered two boxing? What are we all going to do now? Oh my God, Zeph, you just wasted my time, Fuck bro. these two boxes, I just man. had sex with my cousin Skip last night. Sure. I remember when well, they I know I do Fuck Call of Duty, shit is dead. Bro, no one's going to ever acknowledge Keep my yourself clips, safe, man. How am I going to join you know Sword? I date her for the easy lobbies. Damn it. First of all, I should deeply apologize to those I absolutely gaslighted and didn't respond to. I even gaslighted my own teammate. Sorry, Roy. Dude, I even got Pomage asking about it. What's up, guys? Face mush. Dude, that old head is still around, huh? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, including the homie uh, Marus. I felt really bad seeing his tweet without him knowing what was my master plan in all of this. So don't worry. I didn't go back on my word. There was only a few people that knew about this master plan. Thanks to Pride for some guidance. But let's go back to the tweet real quick because there's some things that you guys completely missed out on. Look, if you know me long enough, you know I don't use the word low tier players or coward. The only time I use that is when I'm being very sarcastic. And the one that gave it away the most, one of the methods, was I hired a two box detective to see if you would get paired up with him. Some have been found using more than two consoles. Did you really think I was going to spend time going through hundreds of responses and hiring a two box detective to go through and find out if someone is two boxing to make a list for me? Absolutely not. It's just too much time, man. It's too much work. And to the weirdos in the replies, hey, thanks for the laughs too. I actually did go outside the other day. You know, I spent time with family, uh, visited a friend, grabbed sushi with my mom. Oh, and yeah, she's great, by the way. She's recovering from her surgery still. Thank you to those um, who checked up once in a while about her. You know, I appreciate that. Back to the topic. I care and I don't care. I don't care if you are two boxing just as long as you admit to it. I care about what I see because, yeah, you know, this is my job. I made an actual living out of this, living in Las Vegas for about two and a half years. And yeah, I just cashed a fucking bag from Soar. I mean, how do you think I got this $700 monitor? Sorry, Oddflex. Shout out to Sora, though. Look at all of us. Why are we as grown as adults so worried about who the fuck is two boxing and who isn't? The reality is, we're all in this shit too deep. Activision, or Call of Duty's evil plan, was probably to have us fight against each other to get rid of all of us. Our actual objective should really be having fun and enjoying ourselves. Chasing that dopamine rush that we used to get, making montages because it's a fun hobby to do on the side. Yes, we should all be upset about cheaters because they ruin the fun out of all of us, but who is it really to blame, right? Who started all of this? 
And guys, it's just Call of Duty within itself. The anti-cheat sucks. Skill-based matchmaking sucks, right? I think we can all agree with that. And instead of pointing fingers at each other, which is probably what they want us to do, we should be voicing our concerns about how we need to revert back to the old days of Call of Duty lobbies. Remove the skill-based matchmaking, or this level of skill-based matchmaking, and just put it back to what we had in the past. I mean, we've been doing it since back in Modern Warfare 2019, and they just refused to listen, unfortunately. So what can we really do in the meantime? And honestly, I think instead of fighting against each other, we should probably work with each other. People are going to do what they want by the end of the day. We're all going to go in circles about this shit. It's so much of a headache, and even a long time ago, guys, I realized that this is not even worth it. As a creator who actually doesn't two box, no matter what I do, someone is always going to comment saying I get bot lobbies. And if you know me, I like a challenge, which is why I don't two box personally. And if you're new around here, how do you think creators get their videos out? You think they're going to play the hardest lobby and post it and of them doing bad? No, they're going to post the best gameplay they've had. And obviously the chances are it's going to be against bots or people that just suck. And I know some of you guys are going to ask, well, what's the point of me doing this? I love this shit. It's fun. It's fun competing in sliming tourneys, you know, going up against the absolute best. And even in those tourneys, the Spice Boys made a lot of people look like bots. So we all made our point. But even then, with being that good, we still get the same exact comments. And even getting those comments, I can't lie, I'm still having fun. You know, teaching everyone how to snipe in the new Call of Duty in my own videos that you guys see on YouTube or even TikTok. How I cover class setups, settings, new attachments, etc. Really, I just mind my own business and sometimes I like to troll once in a while. But for the most part, my whole entire purpose is really just to recycle the COD snipe community and just walk with the new people and have fun with them as well. I hope everyone, you know, gets the message out of this because by the end of the day, do what you want and have fun. It's just that simple. We shouldn't be overcomplicating ourselves and giving ourselves a headache about slimy clips in 2024. And the people that are supposedly two boxing in sore, we're gonna let above figure that out. So anyways, I got videos to make. So uh, just remember, don't hate the player, hate the game. Game is game. Game is game. So you got a small wee wee? Oh, and also, if you have a problem with me, come talk to me. And if you don't want to talk to me, that's a you problem.